to my channel. My name is Destiny. This is Afro Opinionated in today's video. And in today's video, <laughs> we are going to be doing my winter empties, y'all. I'm so excited. I've been using up products. I've been, you feel me? I've been doing the thing, okay? I've been going through some stuff. So this is stuff that I've used up since mid-December, I think. Um, and yeah, this is from mid-December actually to last week, March 7th. So today is the 13th and hopefully this goes up on the 14th tomorrow. So definitely get you some tea, get you some wine, get you some water, you know what I'm saying? Get a snack because this might be a little long. It's, you know, we've got a lot of stuff to go through. So, so I put a head, I got me, I bought me a headband wig y'all. This is so easy to install. Like, I ain't gonna lie back in the day when i was wearing wigs if i didn't feel like blending my closure if i didn't feel like blending my lace you know what i did i put a headband right on top of it period <laughs> but this is just like super convenient because it's just super super convenient like it really really is so this is a good option if you know you want breaks from your hair or you know maybe your hair style didn't turn out right but your hair is still moisturized and this might be the move, sis. So I'm gonna reach in here at random. So first I have the TGIN Miracle Repair RX Anti-Breakage Serum. And this one definitely feels like olive oil. It's super light. It's not really gonna seal anything in. This one just didn't leave a real lasting impression on me. So, I mean, with this oil, I wouldn't really repurchase it. It just didn't. By the way, if you see my nails looking real ghetto, it's time for me to take these off. So, that's what it is. But, um, yeah, I don't think I would repurchase this one. I don't really see it being anti-breakage. I don't really experience that. I used to use this a lot to take my hair down. And it was good for that. But, I mean, the full price of this is $14.99. So, it's not really worth it in my opinion. You could just use olive oil and it would kind of do the same thing. So, probably not a repurchase for me. Next in here, we have the Honey's Handmade Black Soap Honey and Avocado Co-Wash. This got used up super quick. I think I might have been done with this by January. But this was super good. Like, I really, really enjoyed this. This was amazing. And y'all know, I already bought two 16 ounces of these. So, yeah. I really, really enjoyed this. Cleans your hair. Has good slip. Moisturizing. It's just a bomb co-wash. But y'all know, honey's handmade. Do they really miss on the co-washes? Do they? <laughs> Do they? Um... Next, I have the Sorrento Beauty Chocolate and Marshmallow Clay Wash. This was a super good clay wash. It was really awesome. And I feel like this one st definitely set the standard for me with clay washes. Like, my hair felt clean. It felt cleaned and softened. And it also felt moisturized. But it was like a good moisturize. A good balance of, like, cleanliness and moisturization. And it made my, curl pop, my curls pop. You should definitely check out my video if you haven't already to see the application of this in the demo. But this is really good. I already have about three or four, I think three more co-washes from this brand. It's awesome. It's, it's a staple, period. It was an instant staple, to be honest. Like, literally, every other clay wash that I try, I'm gonna subconsciously and consciously <laughs> compare it to this one because it's just that good, period. I mean, I'm not, you know, it is what it is. Next. Next, I have this Curl Origin Hydrating Curl Spray. This wasn't it. It didn't really feel like anything on my hair. I won't be repurchasing this one. I didn't really enjoy it. It's just, I use it a few times to take my hair down just to give it a little bit of moisture, but it really doesn't feel like anything at all. Next, I have another Honey's Handmade Peppermint Deep Penetrating Hair Mask. I actually have a review on this. Hopefully I post it. I don't know if I will or won't. But I won't be repurchasing this one most likely. Um, you know, watch the video if I post it. It's just that I don't know if I'm going to post it because I don't know if I like it like that. But, you know, this one, it's okay. It feels good upon application. But it just didn't give me enough moisture and hydration. So it's a no for me. But I know a lot of people like this though. And I, I do like it. Like when it's on your hair, it feels really good. But... I need my hair to be a little bit more hydrated than that. 
Next, I have the Murray's Edge Wax. And this used to be a staple for me for a few years, but lately this has not been it. I have been using, I've been using, I like this one better. So this one's, I'm not going to repurchase it. In a video that I may or, sorry y'all, in a video that I may or may not post, I use this edge control and it just made my hair white. Like I just, gosh, it's been doing that a lot too. Like it used to didn't, it, it did make my hair white sometimes, but it would kind of dissipate. But this one, I don't know. I'm not buying it again though. Like I said, I found another one that I like better. So bye. Next we have the Coils in Paradise Cocoa Biscuits Deep Conditioner. Y'all know this is one of my favorite ones. I already have another one that I purchased on Black Friday and I really enjoy my experience with this one. It is super softening to the hair and it, I also feel a little bit of the protein but it just makes my hair feel so so good. It just feels so nourished you know. So I will probably continue to buy this one especially since it's 12 ounce. It definitely took a while to finish it but I was kind of hanging on until I had another one in my stash. That's how much I liked it. So yeah, this one is really good. Next, we have the Carla Bassant's Neiman Henna Hair Thickening Deep Conditioner. Now, this is a really good deep conditioner. This is really good. I actually had a video on it, but I decided not to post this one either because so many people are having so many issues with Carla Bassant's. And I'm just like, I'm not about to be like gassing up a brand and people, if they choose to purchase, like they're not gonna get they may not get their product. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it from them again. Definitely no time soon because I, if you steal my money, we gonna have a problem, okay? But this is really good. Like, I, the first, I only got to use this one time because I did share it with my mom. So my hair instantly felt plumper. Like, it gave me that plump, plumpening. Is that a word? <laughs> it instantly made my hair feel more plump. And it was just a good strengthened moisture balance. It feels like it penetrated my hair. Like this one was a really, it was, I really like it. I would repurchase it, but girl, you can't be stealing my money. I don't know what she got going on, but people talking about they don't order in, 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 in October and November. And you know, it's February and March and people still ain't got this shit. Especially if you guys are familiar with Ashkin's Curls and with Steph MD25, I think, I don't even, I don't even think Ashkin Curls got her order ever. And she was like really unresponsive with the emails. I don't have time for that. The next one we have is the She Scented Avocado Moisture Max Mask for very dry hair. And I do have a review on this one. Um, I'm really on the fence about this one to be honest because I think I used this about three or four times and I know three times two or three times that i used it it just felt okay like it was good but i don't feel like it was really hydrating it didn't really feel like it penetrated my hair like i needed to and then the last time that i used this it felt really good so i don't like that i don't like it when sometimes i don't like it when products aren't consistent you know those types of things don't really fit into my regimen so i don't I don't know if I'll repurchase this one. I mean, it's just, you know. If I needed to purchase another, if I needed to add another cart, another item to my cart to get free shipping, I would add it. Let's put it like that, because mm, I don't know. It's just a little too inconsistent for me and my taste. Next, I have the main choice, Heavenly Halo Herbal Hair Tonic and Soy Milk Deep Hydration Mask. These long names, honey. So this was my first deep conditioner from Main Choice. And I have to say, I was not too impressed. This one did not really hydrate my hair either. Didn't really feel like it penetrated and it didn't really feel like it did much. Top of that, I didn't like the application. It didn't have any slip. And yeah, I just needed a lot more hydration from this one. And I didn't get it, so <laughs> disappointing. So next I have this Main Crush Magical Butter. I love this butter. I think it's actually a staple for me. I already have um, two more, I think. Yeah, I have two more. So yeah, this is a great butter. I feel like it seals the hair in really well. I feel like it holds in moisture very, very well. And it's a good, it's good to like twist your hair with. Like if you just put this on top of your cream or on top of a leave-in, it just really 
kicks up that moisture to the next level like it makes it long lasting so I really did enjoy that one and I think it's a favorite next I have the product junkie naturals right right Oh, I've been, I've been stuttering a lot lately, y'all. I don't know what's wrong with me. We gonna get it. I have the Product Chunky Naturals Rice Water Wet Dream Deep Condish. And this is another one that I shared with my mom. So I only got to use this one one time. And, you know, it was good. I definitely want to pick it up again to finalize my thoughts. But I do feel like I got more, uh, more of a strengthening feeling than a moisturized feeling. Um, from this one but it wasn't bad like I don't necessarily mind that especially when I know when I'm going into something knowing that it's going to have strengthening properties I don't necessarily mind if it feels more strengthened than uh, hydrated but it's definitely not balanced and it does say that it's balanced on here but um, not for me but I still think it's pretty good I still think that it does give your hair a nice healthy dose of strength to it so I would repurchase it again I actually had a video on this one but my footage got corrupted so <laughs> um, ghetto 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 that happened to a few videos actually so i had to buy another memory card next i have the just for me curl piece um pre poo some hair on here uh pre poo pre tender head pre poo detangler pre shampoo detangler these names be hella long y'all but i really love this this is also a staple for me i really like this product because i feel like it does detangle your hair, but for me, I got the type of hair that's just going to retangle no matter what. But I do feel like this one does does do a good job of keeping my hair more detangled, more noticeably detangled than other products do throughout my entire wash day. So I really do like this product. I think it's really good. It's accessible. It's affordable. Like, what more could you ask for? Like, seriously, what, what more could you ask for? I already have another one of these, and yeah, I think it's going to be a staple. No. Hmm. Wow, I'm gonna have to get that out. Do y'all see that? I'm gonna have to get that out. But this is the banana, the Nature's Little Secret banana leave-in. You guys, I really like this. Where is it? All right. Yeah, I really, really like this. This was actually pretty good. Um, I only got to use it about five times. It went pretty quick. I don't know what it is about Nature's Little Secrets products, but I can only use them a few times and then bam, they're gone. Except for that Irish cream styler. That one's different, but. The leave-ins, the deep conditioners, they go super quick for me. But this was a really good one. I really like the smell. It smells like banana Laffy Taffy. And it was actually pretty hydrating. It's like I put it on, it felt pretty good. But when I put that shower cap on for them 10 minutes, girl, next level. This is, I like this. I like this a lot. And I would repurchase it. However, I do want to try the avocado cream moisturizer thing before I repurchase this. But this was still a good leave-in nonetheless. Would we purchase it for sure. Next, I have this My El Mangango Oil Hydrating Conditioner. This one was actually really, really good. And I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you. I, I didn't expect it. I, I didn't expect it. I didn't think that I would like this one, but it's actually really, really good. And y'all know, y'all know, I'm not really checking for them like that, but but if you are and you haven't tried this one yet, it's pretty good. Has good slip, has a nice texture, and it gives you a lot of hydration and moisture. So and it is it, it smells pretty good too. So let me make sure because it's been a while since well it smells okay. It smells okay, it's very perfumey. But this was pretty good, I'm not gonna hold you. But I'm not repurchasing it. But y'all can if y'all want, you know? Do whatever makes your heart smile, okay? Next, I have this Main Crush Fairy Tale Deep Conditioner. Now, I like this deep conditioner, I do. Dang, I didn't use that, but um, I like this deep conditioner, I really do. However, However, I was expecting more moisture from it, to be honest, more of a like hydrated feel. And I can feel the goat's milk. Like I can feel the clay. I can feel the goat's milk. I mean, it wasn't drying. It was moisturizing, but just not like I thought it would be. So I don't know if I repurchased this one. I definitely want to try the other ones that I have from them. 
to see like which one I like the best. But this one is still good. It's just ne not ne it's just not my favorite, you know. But it's still good. So yeah, I don't know if I'll repurchase it right now. Okay, just getting you know, all the main crush. Next, I have the main crush Ayurvedic pre poo. Is it Ayurvedic or is it Ayurvedic? Because in Spanish, the A-Y is pronounced I, like Ayuda, Ayudame, <laughs> por favor, Ayudame, okay? But, um, that means help me. But, yeah, I don't know how to really say it. This, y'all, this pre -poo, this pre -poo, this is an inst this was an instant staple. I really love this one. If you haven't seen my pre poo battle, definitely check that video out. But this was bomb. This was great. Like it has so much. Well, it has slip, but it doesn't have like the most slip. But you can really feel the hydration. You can really feel it penetrating your hair. I really did notice like a reduction in breakage and shedding when I consistently use this one. Um, the only thing about this one is that, you know, that you gotta let this one bake, you gotta let this one cook. So, every week I don't be feeling like that, so I have been using it like every other week. But, cause you're supposed to leave it on for 45 minutes to 3 hours. What I've been doing is pre pooing overnight with it. Or I'll do it like super early in the morning. And then, you know, I don't really wash my hair until like 4 or 5 o'clock. But y'all, this is so good, like... And it has great, girl, it has shea bay, fenugreek, stinking nettle, makaru, cass cassia, amla, shakaka, brahmi. Like, this is really good. This is a staple. I already have another one. And I've ordered another one during March Madness. So, that just goes to show you. Also, what's crazy about this is that it's only eight ounces, but I used this about four and a half times. And y'all know an eight ounce product, that's gone and usually that's, that's only two uses for me, but this really lasted and I wasn't any less heavy handed than I normally am. Like this is, I love that. Next, I've been taking these main choice healthy hair vitamin main metabolism. Listen, I didn't do this. It came in the mail like that. I guess USPS had a problem because my whole package was tote up. <laughs> was helpful but luckily it didn't burst anyway I don't know how I feel about these yet but I have a six month supply and I will be doing a six month update in June or July or whenever makes sense with whenever makes six months okay but these have these are very like you could use this almost as a multivitamin um it has a lot of nutrients in it and most of these are over 100%, so this is it's pretty good. Next, I have another one of these. This is the multi, the, okay y'all, my camera really cut me off. It just shut off for whatever reason. It's, I used these up too. They're good though. These are probably like some of the best tasting gummy vitamins, period, <laughs> period, you know? This is the Product Junkie Naturals Honey and Hibiscus Flaxseed Gel Buttercream. This one was really good. I really liked it the more I used it, but it's definitely not a moisturizer for me. It's definitely not a leave-in for me. Um, it has it gives you like a pretty decent hold that can carry you through the week, I think. And it also very much so is a sealant. So this is gonna really seal in moisture from you know a good leave-in. You need you really gotta use a good leave-in under this one. If you use a mediocre leave-in under this one. You know the moisture might not last i ain't gonna hold you the moisture might not last because you're not getting any additional well, for me i don't really get additional moisture from this product i mean it does have honey in it but there's no water so and i live in a dry climate it's gonna be dry like it ain't much water in the air that's why we're always on fire <laughs> but yeah it's still a pretty good product i'm glad that i have another one and yeah the more i used it the more i liked it i definitely want to try the other uh gel buttercreams next i have the camille rose cocoa nibs and honey ultimate growth serum now i like this one i will repurchase it when it's ten dollars when it's on sale but this was the first oil that i used like as a pre-poo and it worked amazing this was actually a really good pre-poo like 
it's a great pre-poo. I also put it on my scalp a few times. I didn't really feel anything there. I put it on my hair, it was okay for that. But it definitely does have a serum texture and it's not like any other oil. If you don't, if you think oils are greasy, this one might be a good option for you because it does have a serum-y feel. It's not, it feels like a serum, okay? So yeah, I really like this Supreme Poo and I would repurchase it. Next, I have the Fairy Godmother Leave-In from Main Crush. This was a pretty good leave-in. It is very lightweight, but it does pack a punch of moisture. I really did like this one. Um, it felt, it, 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 ooh, chow. It definitely felt conditioning. Um, it's not something that's gonna go good with everything. Like if you have a super drying styler, I probably wouldn't use this one just because it is so light. But if you think that you know your styler might flake, this is a good one to put underneath it. Or this one is a good one to, this is a good option to use as a leave-in with those types of stylers because it's lightweight. So you know, it absorbs very quickly into the hair and it feels really, really nice. I really like this one. I would repurchase it, but I've got a few leave-ins from Main Crush, so no time soon. Next, I have these Evening Primrose Soft Gel Pills. I got these off Amazon. So I purchased these just so that I could see if it would help me to get rid of my goatee. Because I've been growing a lot of facial hair, y'all. I thought this would help to balance out my hormones. I thought that, you know, it would help me with my skin. But I still have a goatee. I am still having to go in and pluck all my hairs out. Because <laughs> they definitely cause a lot of acne and ingrowns and my chin hair um some of the hairs are very coarse girl i got a mustache it is so, so annoying but yeah these didn't really do anything for me i kind of want my money back and i've been taking them for about six months um nothing next i have this um neiman nettle hot oil treatment this is from curl of a science but it just felt like an oil it wasn't nothing special about it i wouldn't repurchase it it's just an oil <laughs> Next, I have the Natural Grow Healthy Greens Grease. This one was really good. I like this a lot. I used it on my scalp and I also used it to seal in my ends. It's a very lightweight consistency. Um, it feels really good. It feels like your scalp easily absorbs it. It was a really good, um, a really good grease for me. I like it and I would probably repurchase it. Actually, I would repurchase it. Next time they have a sale, I'll probably pick that one up. And they also have another grease too, so I want to try them both. But I do like that one. Um, it has some good stuff in it. So next, I have this La Roche and Posse. Is that how you say it? I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm saying it weird. <laughs> this is the Effaclear Clarifying Solution. This is actually pretty good. Like this is a really good toner. Um, I do feel like it kind of clarified my skin, and it didn't dry out, but I definitely do feel like it was like an extra clean feeling or something i don't know but i did enjoy using this it felt really nice on my skin didn't break me out sometimes when i use certain toners like i get dry spots but this is really good this is pretty good i would repurchase it next i used this versed weekend glow daily brightening solution um and this one this one was actually pretty okay too i got this at target does it make your skin brighter questionable but you know it was okay it was cool 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 it wasn't it didn't make my skin feel bad it also was not drying so i like that because like i said some toners do make me my skin feel really dry but this one was it's pretty cool would i repurchase it i don't know i might <laughs> might not i don't know um next i have these honeys handmade sea moss maca and bamboo healthy hair growth mask this is pretty good this was I actually really like these i really like these like these these are pretty good i would definitely repurchase these really enjoyed these these were very hydrating and they had a lot of slip it smells good like i really like these um really had to keep myself you feel me i had to don't you buy nothing else from honey's hand don't you buy nothing else from honey's handmade that's what i had to tell me y'all next i have this dermalogica daily microfoliant i bought like two trial kits and this is actually really good i'm really debating do i really want to spend 59 dollars for a big one i have another one of these um of this size so i'm gonna use it until then but do i'm i'm really debating do i really want to spend 59 dollars on a big one i might it's it's pretty good like it's it's pretty good it's something that you could use daily feels really good on your skin get your skin clean and it just is that nice 
surface what is it physical exfoliant I really I really like it however Laurel's Curls use the Satinio Atino is it like a Jamaican brand black owned facial scrub so I might try that out before I try this one because this one is $60 and that one is not so it's cheaper than that so I might pick it up next I do have um, the Dermalogica pre cleanse oil and the trial size again now I might buy the big one of this one I think it's like 40 or $50 but I might buy it because this oil actually felt like it was doing something like it really felt like it was doing something and i purchased another oil that was only like 12 dollars from urban hydration y'all that oil is pretty bad it's not bad but it doesn't feel like it's it's it doesn't feel like it's sucking out any of the dirt it feels like it's going into my skin which is not what i wanted to do so this one felt really good though it was thicker the other one the one that i have now is too thin and this one is definitely superior so I might repurchase it. I might. I don't know how bougie I'm feeling, okay? But this one is the Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc Serum. The Ordinary one. And I don't like this product. If you put on too little, it doesn't feel like there's anything. But then if you put on more, it gets this consistency that's kind of like spit. And I mean, yeah, you do get some hydration from it. But I don't like the fact that you have to use so much. Because it can almost, 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 almost feel a little bit oily. So I don't like this one. I had another one with niacin niacinamide in it from Face Theory. And that one worked a lot better. But this one... not a fan we've made it to the end y'all we have the jamaican black castor oil extra dark now this is awesome this is like my first time using uh the extra dark jamaican black castor oil and it's really good it's a lot richer than the normal formula which i guess is why it's like a dollar or two more but i really prefer this one to the other one it's richer it coats the hair better and it really softens up your hair too i don't know I know this is not a penetrating oil and it's a sealant but it softens up your hair like crazy like if you spray a little bit of water then you put this on top soft. your hair is soft okay your hair is just soft and I, I, I already have two more two three I get like three of these y'all like these are really good really good and I get them on sale too at Sally's and stuff but yeah that's all I have for my empties for the winter I have been using up a lot of stuff y'all I'm proud of myself like this is so satisfying for me even though I've been bad and I've bought more stuff am I gonna do a haul on it I don't know hopefully you guys I get back to being consistent I'm really trying but life be life is as uh, Sheree Del Sol says so yeah if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave me a comment, like, subscribe. I hope you guys have a blessed, awesome, amazing week. Bye. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.